definitely a great, you know what I'm saying, a message to the kids, you know what I'm saying, for the guys that there's not all Americans or McDonald's. Like, we were talking about that the other day, how some guys, like, D-Wade wasn't McDonald's. You feel me? Like, he wasn't a McDonald's kid. Look at what he is, the, the, the career he didn't have, how he an all-time great. Yes, indeed, Big Brother Bear here to give you all that you want and what you need. And today's Teach Me series comes from no one other than Quentin Richardson. If you're not familiar with my Teach Me series, it's a series where I highlight individuals, whether that be celebrities, entertainers, actors, basketball players, whomever, that say something that I feel like will be impactful to you and your student athlete experience. So today I'm going to highlight what Quentin Richardson said on his podcast with Darius Miles. Here it is. It's definitely a great, you know what I'm saying, a message to the kids, you know what I'm really? saying, for the guys that that's not all Americans or McDonald's. Like, we was right. talking about that the other day, how some guys, like D-Wade wasn't McDonald's. You feel me? Like, he wasn't a McDonald's kid. Look at what he is, the, yeah. the, the career he didn't have, right. how he an all-time great. And y'all examples, too, that you don't have to be... Like, you ain't got to be a, a McDonald's All-American. You ain't got to be a college All-American. You ain't got to be a top pick. You ain't even got to be drafted sometimes. You just got to get in and get keep working and find your way. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Just keep working. Like, that's the main thing that you said that no matter what it is, whether it's basketball or life, just keep working. You know what I'm that's saying? Mm-hmm. And we and we do it for, you know what I'm saying, the, the kids that ain't the tallest, that ain't got the, the best jump shots, like the ones that got to grind too, to show you that. Man, you don't have to... You don't need all that to be successful. Mm-hmm. Work hard, you know, stay true to yourself. Like, cream always ride to the top. Like, put that work in, and like, everything will be laid out for you. You don't have to have the accolades to get where you want to go. You don't have to have, you don't have to have the accolades. Everybody can't be McDonald's All-American. Everybody can't be uh, Newcomer of the Year. Everybody can't be All-State. Everybody can't be ranked number one in the, in the country or ranked number Number two in the state. Everybody can't have that. And the majority of people won't. I grabbed this clip because it's just a reminder that you shouldn't let that weigh you down. You shouldn't feel like you're, you don't belong because you don't have those accolades. And you know you know about this channel. I'm not just talking about athletics. Let me bring this thing to academics as well. Some of you don't have the accolades to go to whatever college you want to be a part of. Some of you don't have the accolades to major in that major, right? You want to be a doctor or whatnot, and your high school did a piss poor job as far as equipping you with science classes that you would need to use in college. You don't have that that title. That's fine. That's fine because it does not matter. He goes on to say, all you got to do is find your niche and, 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 and that thing that you want to do and keep working. You have to prepare yourself. You have to apply yourself. But this whole idea that I have to have this title, I have to be crowned as the best in the state, or I have to be crowned as this or that, that's going to determine if I have an opportunity to make it. And that's just not true. But if you think it's true, you will counsel yourself out on many things that's coming ahead, right? The, the game is, is majority mental anyway. And you counsel out your mental by, by thinking that you don't belong just because you don't come from what others just because you weren't crowned uh, a certain title, just because someone didn't give you a certain accolade, right? Accolades and titles are man are man given. They're they're man made, man given. But one thing is not, and that's impact, right? Your impact is determined upon you. What impact do you have? Are you making an impact on this team, and how are you doing so? Are you continue to work hard, and how are you doing so? No one no one can 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 alter that piece. That only comes from you. Right? And the same thing would be said as far as the classroom, like I said again. That impact you that, that, that you that you actually display, that's gonna be on you. That's not gonna be on anybody else but you. So don't 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 get down on yourself about, you know, you don't have the accolades. Many of us didn't, but we can still carve our own way and be as impactful as we as we can by by continuing to work hard, but, but continue to to listen to sound and wise counsel, like subscribing to this YouTube channel, and surrounding ourselves with positive people. And you'll do fine. You'll do more, you'll do better than what you ever thought was even possible. And you'll surprise yourself.
allowed 